In today's episode, supercar owners will be cocky. Can I, can I say something? I have the fastest car here. They will get smoked. And most importantly, they will be humbled. So if I lose, I'm going to buy an option. And I'm buying a fucking ticket to go back to another country. <laughs> What's up boys, Fonzie here, and today we're going to be seeing what happens when supercars decide to race 1,000 horsepower shit boxes that cost 90% less than their supercars. I must say, it's a very humbling experience for the supercar owners. So starting off, we'll be seeing one of the most popular and common supercars, the GTR, up against the good old classic big wheel muscle car. Let's take a look. So we actually brought out the GTR out here. car wasn't it wasn't so with the motec it goes oh, you know have you heard it when it drops down it's like maybe i can reel him down he was like gone dude i was like there's no you real have caught him though oh, i mean like a quarter mile i think i probably could have got him but that was just a big up. oh man that gtr was making up every excuse in the books as to why he lost next up we have this guy in a lamborghini who should have done a bit more research before betting nine thousand dollars in a race no, what's going on <laughs> It's not gonna happen. He wants to run it's the GTR and the Lambo. The Lambo is gonna smoke that thing, mate. <laughs> not possible. At 9k. What? Pot. <laughs> Lambo v Barbie car. Barbie. <laughs> oh. Did you say you said just over 500 ponies? Is that right? Just over. Just over. Bit. In this weather, probably not so much. But yeah. How much is that? Nine grand. Yeah, nine grand right here. <laughs> He's gonna. Does he know? No. <laughs> I thought he was gonna fall under the hood. Damn, I feel like that video was not a good representation for Lamborghini owners. Did not make him look good. Now, I think we all know whenever you see a Supra, don't line up next to him unless you can handle the loss because they are very good at giving them. Like I said earlier, 1,000 horsepower shit boxes are here to stay and they're here to dominate. Now, I don't know where this 1,000 horsepower Civic came from, but this dude was giving everybody the business. He did not hold back. <laughs>
Next up, we have possibly the biggest race pot in racing history. We have a Nissan GTR versus a Honda Civic. Yup, another shit box. Now, now, now. I knew Hellcats were fast, but I didn't know they were by Ferrari fast. <laughs> So I know it might seem like the GTRs are the ones getting the most humble with this episode. So in this next clip, we have a GTR versus a Porsche GT3 RS. And boy, is that Porsche driver in for a surprise. The GTR made a U-turn looking for us. He's hitting the brakes, he knows I'm too. Yeah, he's coming, he knows we're coming, bro. 40? It's gonna be one, two, three. Let me know when you're there. Oh my god. Dude, his launch was insane right there. They can they can launch on a roll, can't they? Yep. You're gonna get hot. Right, he's gonna give us the go. You hear him? One, two, three! Oh my god. Up next, it's a race you've probably already seen. I just had to put it in here because it's the ultimate humbling. We have a Lamborghini Huracan versus Grandpa's farm truck. Okay, this last one is in Russian, so I have no idea what they are saying. All I know is the BMWs in this clip are all on steroids. These things are beasts. They're destroying everything. Gorbaker, car life dает start. Был фаль старт, не показалось на М5, ну и понятно же, что для Porsche GT3, поехали, ровный старт получил. вперед молчу и даю вам насладиться звуком до конца шли and that's about it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe to Exotic Rubber if you haven't already. And don't forget to comment down below your favorite race. And to next time, boys, this has been Fonzie, and I'm out. Peace.